Still dealing with the aftermath of Dave Chappelle being attacked last week by Zaya Lee at the Netflix Is A Joke Comedy Festival. Several new developments have transpired. It's been revealed that Chappelle actually spoke to the man who attacked him, and it was announced that the attacker will not be facing any felony charges after the incident. Although the prosecutors in Los Angeles have filed four misdemeanor charges against Lee. It doesn't appear that Lee will face severe charges for his actions, which makes us wonder if audience members will be held accountable for assaulting comedians on stage. Today we have our comedy hype analysts, Pierre and Capone, along with very special guests with Sean Khan. And we have to ask, what do we think will come from this as we move forward? Now, Rashawn, I want to start with you. Last week, you know, when news broke, we definitely had this conversation, but I want you to chime in because I know you work closely with comedians like Eddie and Richard Pryor. You know, if you were in this situation where that was Richard Pryor, how would you respond if this situation was to happen? Um, the attacker wouldn't have touched Richard. And actually, I was, I was in a situation like that at the Hollywood Bowl. And it was this couple sitting in the chair. And while Richard was working stage right, you was watching the audience watch Richard. But it was one guy sitting in a chair and he kept moving forward. He just kept, kept making a move. And that's what caught my attention. Why is he doing that? And more important, he hasn't laughed yet. So I just kept watching him. And he did rush the stage. And I'm not saying this is something that you do, but I did it. He rushed the stage, and when he pushed up on it, I kicked him in his face. That's all. Oh, nice, from behind, nice. kicked him in his face. And duck by, and I had on army boots when I did it. Now, with hindsight, they could have took me to jail and all of that. But in my mind, I got it off quick enough. Nobody know what's happening because you're looking stage left. And I kicked him in his face. He went back in his seat, and it knocked him out. And he was sitting there, and he was leaking, you know. Um, and Richard did his show. When he got kicked, Richard jumped to look, but it's over. It's already happened. In my mind, I got away with it. And I went backstage, you know, and Rich, the show was over, everything was nice. And Johnny Carson came back there, who was a friend of Richard's. And he said to Richard, did you see what this guy did? And I was like, oh shit, he gonna tell on me. You know, you know Johnny Carson's pitch. The job, I mean, fuck the job up. I really thought of it, you know, cause there's really no rules. And that was my first bonus, because Johnny Carson praised the action so much, and Richard had no idea what happened. And, you know, he broke me off, so. Yeah. It was something to me that I know when I seen the Dave Chappelle thing. Just the fact that you're running to the stage, I'm on it. And I always did a thing when, I, when, when you do a sound check, and most comedians don't do sound checks, but I would. I wanted to know the exits. How could I get Richard out of here? And I wanted to know how many steps, literally, it would take me from either stage right or stage left to get to middle stage, which is where Richard would open up at. And each way, including the Hollywood Bowl, only four steps. So when I seen the incident, I was like, where's security at? It should not have happened. And there's two levels of security. There's Dave Chappelle's security and Hollywood Bowl's security. And none of them were there. And it just reminded me once again of the Will Smith thing. Where was the Oscars security? I've been to the Oscars. They have security everywhere. Where's security? And if you're old enough to remember, which a lot of young people don't know, that same thing came up with Malcolm X when all the security was removed. Where is the security? He had security all the way until right now. So in my opinion, right. um, as soon as I got back to my dressing room, I would have fired my entire security team. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, you know, had that question because it seemed like he just came out of, out of nowhere um, to everyone. But I do want to ask because you know, it has come out that Dave did go back and talk to, to the attacker. And the attacker said he did this to get attention for his grandma. He said his grandma had just got put out due to gentrification 
and you know he just wanted to grab some type of attention so Pierre I want to come to you after hearing that you know that Dave had that conversation what do you think about the attackers reason for doing you know do you believe him or or do you think it was just something that he said in that moment all right um I'll answer that but real quick I think he did have security I mean I respect to Rashawn but I think he has security um security can't can't stop stop everything I mean there's a guy named John Hinckley you know shot uh Reagan and Reagan has security around him you know sometimes you just can't get to somebody that fast by the time that boy ran up to, to hit him it was about three seconds they, them dudes was on him at that point yes they might have caught him in the seat jumping up but it's it's so quick but okay i don't think he didn't have security security ain't got you you know can't get it every second everything right correctly okay now with the boy saying what he said i um if that's what he felt um i don't see how that would bring attention to his situation regentification i mean that just, i mean i mean what he would get interviewed and they could talk about it from the interview after that because it wasn't like um he was telling jokes about regentification like man i'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna hit him out this time are you saying that so that was kind of clownish and to me I, that's ridiculous for him to say that unless he wanted to have a platform to talk about the regentification for doing something wild like that but i tell you what you know for him not pressing charges God bless him, whatever you want to call it. You run up on me, nigga, you're going to get charged and pressed. And I'm going to whoop your ass now. I'm going to do it. Now, I don't care if the other comedians don't want to do it. I don't want to press charges. You run up on my stage. By the time your, your foot hit the, the, the wood part of my stage, all hell breaks. I'm throwing shit at you. I'm talking about, I'm talking about stools, chairs, other people going to throw at you. And then I'm going to sue you. I'm going to hit some charges. I want it all. I want your pockets. So that's for the rest of the comics to do what they want. But I'm suing. Absolutely. Now, Capone, I want to bring you in on this as well. And of course, if, if you want to respond to anything that Pierre Rashawn said as well, but um, just as far as the actual question, what do you think about, you know, the accuser's reasoning, uh, reasoning for, you know, going on stage to attack Dave Chappelle? I think it's a lie. Yes. Um, there's a lot of little things that uh, brought my attention. And I don't know how much truth this is, but from my knowledge, he had his nails painted black. That's either a LGB situation or a devil situation, one or the other. And I, I don't know what it was, but that I, that came to mind just so, as soon as I seen it, it, it threw me off. And I mean, people were saying that it was set up or uh, they wanted to take Dave out. My thing is nobody's talking about the weapon that he had. He had a knife with a, I don't know if it was a plastic gun or whatever the situation is. But he got it through security, even there, to get in there. So, um, no, I, yeah, I think he lied about that for the answer to the question. Well, Rashawn, let me let me bring you in on this one as well. What, what do you think about the attacker's reason? You know, we've heard from Pierre and Capone. I want to want to know what are your thoughts on it. Do you believe him, or do you kind of feel like it's nothing for me to have to believe? Because you know what I hear right away. Why would they let us know what the attacker's saying right away? Right away, we heard, here's what the attacker said. Here's what he was going through. So, so y'all interrogated him, and then you told us what he said immediately. Then you letting us know that Dave Chappelle talked to him, and that's supposed to make it an uh, attack that didn't happen because Dave talked to him. Dave and a lot of artists work on being accepted. They want to work on saying yes. And sometimes you have security. I wouldn't call myself, but it was like a buffer. You had to have somebody to say no. Because you work so hard to be accepted, you're always the yes person. But right now, you don't feel like taking a picture. Right now, you don't want to do an autograph, but you don't want to be the one to say it. So whoever's moving with you, that's the person to say it. But they should say it in terms of how I was with Richard and whoever. I reflected the person I was with. It didn't become personal to me. I wouldn't push you away because I didn't like you. I would just check you, what do you want? Well, I want a picture. And that's what I see is getting ready to happen. We get, we're being set up, not on the, you hearing uh, Kevin Hart is next. That's who's next. Kevin Hart is saying somebody's ass needed to be whipped. That's setting it all up. So we heard too much about the attacker, too much about everything, but nobody is saying, how did the homeless guy with leaves in his hair, and they let you know all of that, where did he get the ticket from and where was his seat? Oh, he ran all the way from the back of the Hollywood. If you've been at the Hollywood Bowl, that's a long run. You might as well run, do a touch, that's a long damn run. 
and nobody seen that coming. So all of those are stories that, that's part of Hollywood. It's a story. The cops let you know about the interview. They let you know it's going to be misdemeanor, which means he can try again. His grandmother is still dead. He's still going to be distraught. He's still going to be mental, and he still can have another shot at it. Mm. Now, it, it, you know, you bring up, you know, that story. A lot of people do, you know, looking at the story, they kind of feel that it was staged. So, Pierre, I want to, you know, come back to you. What do you think, you know, when you hear these stories that some people feel like it may, it may have been staged? Do you agree with it, or do you kind of feel like it's just the talk of the town? Just the talk of the town. Yes. I, I don't think Dave Chappelle needs to do that. You know, you know, he's a huge star. He's been through enough controversy. He don't need to add some BS. That's jive. What, what, what is he getting out of that? To, you know, for that, what, what, what could it be that he's getting more publicity? Come on, the brother. He's, he's got enough negative publicity, so I don't think it's staged at all. Capone, I'll ask you that same question. What do you think? You know, some people are saying they feel like it's staged because the story just doesn't add up. What do you think? Think about it. That arm being twisted unless this nigga worked for the circus was <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that arm showed that that was real. So yeah, no, nah, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, no, it did. definitely looked like that one hurt for sure. Oh, Rashawn, I want to ask you that same thing. You know, even though some of these things don't make sense, you know, as you talk about things that just don't quite add up you know it makes some people feel like it's definitely staged but i want to get your take on it do you think that it's staged or do you just kind of feel like that's just one of the things when that you say stage what do you there? mean the guy got his arm twisted and broke and got lumped up because he's faking i, I don't know what you mean staged <laughs> yeah 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 hey look so we you we saying stage should dismiss something that you actually see and happen so if you hear, it looked like Will Smith thing was staged, now we're hearing this is staged. So will it create an atmosphere where when you're being rushed now, you think, oh, this is fake. It's right. not really That's happening. Not right. Now you hurt for real. <laughs> Definitely. So let me, let me ask you this, Rashawn. Um, you know, seeing how we did see, you know, Dave's security guards, and we don't, we're not exactly sure exactly who all ran on the stage, but we know there were a few security guards as well as team members, do you agree with how they responded to the incident? You know, we saw the aftermath of it and a little bit of it in the middle, you saw some kind of phone footage. What do you think, you know, what, what, how do you feel about that? I would say the security team right off the top was bullshit. That's how I feel about it. Now, I don't know if it was Dave Sappel's security or Hollywood Bowl's security. I don't know which it was, but it was bullshit because you've seen them running around the stage. The ones that came to the rescue, Jamie Foxx, Buster Rhymes, and the white boy. That's who's there first. How could they get from their seats on stage and get to the attacker before security, who should be left and right stage, and they was chasing the guy around. So right there, it's a breakdown. To me, I would even go with a setup, like inside. Inside. That's how I would look at it. I just think it's an isolated incident. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. And if it happens again, I hope security gets better. And uh, I like the fact that that photo came out with his eye all swollen up and his arm twisted like a pretzel. Because maybe we can you know, do that more. You know, let people know, think twice next time you run up on stage. Or think better. Or think better. Not twice. I can do it better the next time. Come on, let me bring you in the mix. What do you think? Uh, how do you think, you know, or what are your thoughts on, you know, how they responded to the situation? You know, we've kind of seen people run out and react to it. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, you hear a lot of different stories. You hear that the man was homeless. First thing you question, how did the homeless man get in there? Good question. You heard that he was part of the LGB. I don't know if it's true or not, but if that's the case, we all know that the LGB people not like Dave, a lot of them. I'm not going to say oh, everybody. So either way, if it's either of those two scenarios, I believe that it was an inside job set up. Now, because I think the... Yeah, how does he, and he worried about his mama regenerating her home. He homeless. How did he go to his grandma's house? He fighting for his grandma. She got a house. Fight for a house and for a bedroom. Nigga, what's wrong with you? How are you going to be homeless and your grandma got a house in the area you worrying about regenerating for a fool? You got a bedroom over there. Grandma ain't gonna let you stay at her house. Come on, that boy. You ain't homeless, nigga. And that was something he said. It was nothing that was confirmed. It was what he said. So now you're taking the word of a homeless 
mental person. As he said, he was mental. So now the mental, he's saying the truth now. You're accepting that. And why are you letting us know about that so readily? Soon as the crazy motherfucker say, here's what happened, you letting the public know, hey, you know he was crazy. Why we need to know that? We just seen the attack. We want to know what's going to happen because of the attack. Crazy to attack so if you attack me in the street because you crazy, you're not supposed to take the ass whipping. You're not supposed to take the beat down. The beat down. You're not, that's not supposed to happen. Now, I want to I want to jump back to Capone. I want to make sure that you got to finish that, Capone. I didn't know if there was more that you wanted to add it, add in that. No, I just, um, like, you know, what both guys said, you know, there's just so much mixed up stories to where and why. The, the, the main question, which Rashawn is saying is, why are they telling us everything about what this guy is saying? Like, why is his story so relevant to us? He did what he did. The DA is not charging him with anything. He had a weapon. He's not getting charged for that. You know, there's just so much that does not make sense in this whole situation. And honestly, Dave ain't saying too much either. You know, Dave ain't, nobody's interviewing or how he feels or, you know, what about this? Everything seems to be like, it's swept under the rug or it's a joke in a, in a matter. If a person attacked me, I'm going to find out who sent them or whatever the situation is, and I'm going to put the story out. I don't need the press to tell me all he did so you can try to get sympathy for this guy. I, I don't like that. That's just my now, Yeah, and, and I think the, the lasting question, it seems to, you know, even since the Will situation, you know, how do we prevent this moving forward how do we prevent this from happening again um pierre i'll come to you first you know looking at this situation you know we have the will situation we've also heard had other incidents where comedians have been rushed on stage but how do you think we can help prevent this as we continue to move forward show more photos of somebody getting their ass whooped jumping on stage okay show more than photos people don't want that kind of smoke okay but for real there is no there's nothing else to do there's nothing else to do you know, I mean, what are we going to do? Maybe put some, what do you call it? The, what do you, if you put metal detectors, then people still can run up with their fists and punch. It's going to be what it's going to be. As a comedian, just be more cognizant when you're on stage and somebody runs up, be ready to stomp the shit out of them. That's all. You know, how about every every comedian gets to have a sledgehammer on stage? How about that? Would that, would that help? And you run on stage, you hit them in the head with a sledgehammer. But there's nothing going to really stop it. It is what it is, okay? We just got to fight back and not let this continue. Like to me, I would have said press charges. Uh, Chappelle don't need to press charges. He's rich enough, uh, whatever. He may care more than I do, but I'm pressing charges if you do that. We got to stop that and not let the trend continue. Or punch a dude in the head when he come on stage. You got to defend yourself as a comedian. And um, that's the only way I think I can, you know, we can see it stopping, slowing down. Absolutely. Rashawn, I want to bring you on to that. How do you think we prevent this as we move forward? You can't prevent it. You in a, we in a country of killers. This is what America's about. So you ain't prevent nothing. You can just get ready for it. There was a gentleman, this is a side note. There was a gentleman just commuted by your president, Biden, and this brother was Secret Service. He was educated, all the things that you have to have to become Secret Service. He made the team, and this is what he did. He said, we do not have enough security to secure President Kennedy. They put him in jail for saying that. They put him in jail for three years for saying, here's where the hole is at. We need more people here. They put his ass away. He just got out. He's an old man now. So it's something that you can't prevent. But by them saying to you, he's homeless, he's this, he's that, it makes you relax. It wasn't someone with intention. His mind wasn't right. He, how is my, how he get a ticket to get in the Hollywood Bowl with right, a damn right, gun? Right, right. What seat was he sitting in that he could get to the stage that quick? So, and then why are they giving you the homeless person is talking about something to eat and a couple of dollars and where I'm going to sleep at? Not coming to the Hollywood Bowl, jumping on stage because this happened to my grandmother and I'm going to hurt Dave Chappelle. So the, 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 the fingernails and all of that. Are you into the gay stuff? What, what's, where are you coming from? And what we don't want to accept is why would the LGBTQ, whatever the letters they use in alphabet, why would they be after Dave Chappelle? We don't want to accept that. We want to make the gay 
something happy, not something that could be jealous. Watch out now. Mm. Capone, as we close out, I want to ask you that same question. You know, I, I think the guys kind of definitely added to it, but I want to give you the chance as well. You know, how do you think we prevent this from happening again? Um, I believe that they know who to run up on stage on. That's one thing. Um, I've said a lot of things that might be offensive to people. Um, I've never got ran up on. But I think the proper person to really ask this question is somebody who experienced it. Because I heard two stories. I remember when Steve Brown got attacked. And one of the things that was said, you know, Steve Brown was like, he was cracking the joke. The dude didn't like the joke. He was going through something. But at the same time, I heard from the club that Steve Brown kind of antagonized the guy. Yo, you, I ain't no joke. I ain't this and I ain't that. And so, you know, there's always two sides to every story. And when I spoke to Steve, he was like, man, I was just telling jokes and homeboy didn't want to hear it. And the one thing led to another. But they were up there for like six minutes swinging. Nobody, no security came up there. And then when they came up there, they they like to try to hold off, hold off. This dude done threw a, a, a mic stand at Steve, did everything he could. There was no security there. So uh, you're right. It ain't going to stop. As long as you know how to protect yourself, I advise you to protect yourself. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, it's, it, it sucks that it has to be that way. You know, to me, it just seems so simple not to come to a show if you don't like a comedian or you don't like a person. Don't spend your hard-earned money or sneak into a place, you know. Um, if you don't like somebody, I think it's, it's very simple, but that's not the world that we live in. So I appreciate you all for at least giving that insight. Um, and to all comedians, you know, I do wish you all the best and wish you safety as you continue to, you know, step on that stage for us. We definitely appreciate you all. And I appreciate you all for calling and chiming in on this topic. But you heard from us. Now we want to hear from you in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the new developments from Chappelle? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson.